Welcome to a video walkthrough of the process of how I create a fluid painting masterpiece. It is on a 30 by 40 canvas. This is my biggest painting ever. It's entitled, I Have Everything I Need. So oftentimes before I start a painting, I pray over it and God gives me a scripture. And once again, I have Psalms 23 and I will write that scripture part of it. And this is the way that I felt led to do it on my piece. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. And then instead of writing the whole Psalms, he gave me certain words to pick out of the Psalms like rest, peace, strength, guidance, courage, protection, comfort, honor, anointing, overflow of blessings, and unfailing love. Now I'm going to paint over the whole canvas so that, and this piece is going to go over my um, couch. It's not for sale. It's for me. Um, however, if you want me to do a specific painting for you with the scripture, I will be more than happy to do that. Actually, I would love to do that because I want to start selling my paintings. So if you want me to customize a painting for you, then please let me know. I will um, do another video when I'm done with this painting. So in a customized painting, you will just give me the scripture. I will pray over it and um, God will give me a scripture and specific colors. So if there's specific colors that you like or if you just trust me in um, this is the way that I pray for people uh, because I want my paintings to bring healing to people and hope and love and life. So after I finish this, I will post what this painting is going to be. And this is actually the biggest um, canvas I have done so far. And you can see how I transform my little one bedroom apartment into an art studio. Okay, so with my Psalms 23 painting that I'm making for myself to go on the back of my couch. Um, I've been listening to You Make Me Brave album by Bethel. So I used red, blue, yellow, gold, and white. And I put them in the exact same sequence in each cup. And you can see the paintings that are forming in the cups. They are all different which I think is pretty cool. This one's going to have a lot of cells. So anyways, we'll see how it comes. This is video number two. So I just poured it and I felt led to do it in a zigzag motion. And this is what came out so far before I'm even um, changing the way that the canvas looks. So this is what happens when we are brave. Thank you, Jesus. And now I'm going to um, turn my canvas and maneuver it so that the paint gets all over. Thank you, God. He makes us brave. This is bravery and courage. Okay, so here is my finished product. I'm just going to do an overview right now. And as you can see, the words are buried underneath the paint and they are hidden. Because it's like God says for us to hide his word in our hearts. And so that is what I am doing with my painting. And now I'm going to take you a little closer. So you can see different aspects of the painting. It's got a lot of different dimensions to it. So, Psalms 23, verse 1, the Lord is our shepherd. We have everything that we need. We have everything we need. We have rest. We have peace. We have strength. We have guidance. We have courage. We have protection. We have comfort. We have honor, anointing, overflowing of blessings. And we have his unfailing love.
So there you go. This is what happens when we trust God and trust the instincts that he put in our hearts.